Let's face it, guys. We live in an individualistic world where your achievements and personal accomplishments really matters. And your collaborations with others are on the back burner. But we got to be honest. All of us yearn for some level of belonging, attachment to the group. We want to be looked at positively in society. And oh, yeah, we need love. 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 Whether you want to admit it or not, we all deserve to be loved by someone. Family, friends, and of course, romanticism. It's a big thing in the Western world. And nobody wants to be loved like women, to be appreciated. And sometimes women have a hard time understanding why someone doesn't love them in the way that they want, why they can't get the man that they want. And sometimes women go into denial about that. But others, they'll go out there and seek and even pay for companionship. And today we're talking about this very lovely lady today, she goes by pretty fine and thick on TikTok, but the actual username is goddess V T H S B L K Q U E N, whatever that means. So this lady was looking for love for a long time. In July 31st, 2023, she made this post on TikTok. Anger music! I'm not negotiating my value with anyone. I'm worth it. Been worth it. Will forever be worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Fortunately, we're going to find out much differently, right? What you believe you're worth in the market, and it's very true, you may be worth it. It might not be what someone else believes. And in this case, we find out that she really didn't have all of the options that she felt she did. Because unfortunately, this nice lady fell into a love scam with this guy, Samson Adabisi, who was an undocumented Nigerian living in Houston. At this point, she fell head over heels for this guy. And he looks like he's much younger than her, possibly. And she just really looked happy posting him on social media and all of the like. But stop the show. You see, Samson Adebisi really didn't love her in the way that she felt. Because she caught Samson cheating with another lady. We'll get to that lady in a minute. So what she did when that happened was... She asked him to come get his things and leave the house. The rest, well, let me have her tell you. Now, I have said this repeatedly, and I will keep saying this repeatedly. I worked for years on the road as an independent insurance adjuster for years, saving money for IVF, for my IVF journey that I've known that I've always was going to have to do. This man in 10 months has come along and taken that complete amount of 50 something thousand dollars that I had saved up for the IVF journey. I had found out that Samson Adewali Adebisi was having an affair with this particular Nigerian woman and I asked him to leave the house and upon him leaving the house I had found out that he had been stealing from me already small, small amounts out of the $50,000. Uh, I guess at that point to impress her or to uh, already have a plan in place for himself upon leaving um, with my money. And so I'd asked him to return at that point to get all of his things from my house once I realized that he was uh, stealing from me. Um, and at that point, upon him coming back to the home to retrieve the rest of his belongings, I was not present at that moment. I was in the parking lot of our complex on the phone discussing with my best friend the incident, what happened, and what was going on. At that moment, it's still, people have to understand, I was still in the midst of the marriage and the mindset, right? I did not understand that I had a household enemy around me the whole time. I did not know that this is what this man does. He's, he's a part of a larger ring of Nigerian men that are in groups that sit around on WhatsApp and they discuss what to do and how to, you know, plan to do this to American women, marry them or enter into relationships with them and then defraud them in some way of whatever they have that's tangible or a, a, some sort of asset so that, you know, they can abscond or leave these women heartbroken, desperately in, in deep financial circumstances. 
and definitely was emotionally and psychologically abused. Um, I want to be clear about this, that I am speaking out because most victims don't speak out. They're ashamed. They're humiliated about what happened to them. And that allows you to be further victimized, right? Because you're backed into a corner of shame by yourself because you feel like you don't want the world to know what these people do, uh, do to you or what they've done to you. And then, you know, you don't want the judgment. You don't want to hear the thousands of would have, should have, could have, why didn't you do this? And so absolutely, you know, we should protect ourselves as women. But when you're in a moment in a situation of trust, this is your husband. This is somebody that's going with you to doctor's appointments that is he in your most private and intimate things. This is somebody that you're putting down on paperwork and positions of trust that if something were to happen to you, this is the person that I want to make decisions for me because you believe and you're being led to believe and you're being situated and positioned and psychologically given information to believe that you're in a real marriage with these individuals and this person. Samson has repeatedly, Samson Adewali Adebisi has repeatedly lied that he did not take and steal from me. And he, that is a lie. And my circle of trust was God, myself, and my husband. He is the only person that knew that I had the money, knew that uh, where the key was to access my safe, where the money was. And he was the only person I had shared that information with. Because unfortunately, I trusted again that I was in a marriage, that I was in a lifelong commitment, that I was truly with someone who loved me the way that I loved him. I had told Simpson I had the money in April when I was going to have surgery at Memorial Hermann Hospital. If something happened to me, of course, I wanted my husband to be okay, right? I knew his circumstances here. I knew that he was here with undocumented, with uh out papers um, that he was, you know, just here on a student visa and here and, he, and that I knew that if that I was the sole financial support, except for the fact that he was working illegally under someone else's documentation for home health agencies. So I uh, apparently, uh, but I never received any of those monies from that. He was, uh, he was uh, funneling that money into a bank of America and chase account that I did not know about. So, and all of this is deeply painful, it's hurtful, but I am determined to let everyone know what this man did to me. Did to me, did to me, did to me. So yeah, the guy got her for $50,000. And let's even look at some of the screen grabs she was sending to get her money back. This is sad, guys. Sad music! Please return my money, Samson. I worked hard for that money. 14 years of hard work and sacrifice. You took $50,000 from me. That was money for my baby and the house. Please don't do this. Give it back to me. It belongs to me. You can leave, but you don't get to steal from me. Take my money and run. You're using me. I pay for groceries, rent, utilities, gas, in the car, Paid money for the upkeep for your mom and family in Nigeria. Both you clothes, shoes, and although you were taking money from me out of my safe, you're still asking me for money and I was sending it to you. Even after finding out you were cheating on me, I still gave you the money to pay for your driver's license. I was never selfish and withheld anything from you that you would need to steal from me. You have money. You never gave me a dime of the money you were making working. You are saving it in your accounts. Don't do this to me. I don't deserve this. I loved you as a part of me and did everything to cherish and support you. Now, let me just read this other screenshot. You have taken my trust, my innocence, my belief in love and marriage, almost my sanity. Please don't take my dream and hopes for a child of my own and a home of my own from me, for me and that baby. That's the only thing that can keep me going now. Please return the money. You could have asked me to make a plan with you to help if you were leaving. I already said to you, I know you need a car. I will help you still. Even after all the pain you had caused me and how you were still planning to be to leave to be with Lola, I still cared for you as a wife to want to see you be okay and have what you needed to at least start over. 
You didn't have to take from me or steal ever. I would have given you money because although you stopped being a husband, I never stopped being a wife. Wow. So even in separating, I have to stand before God and act in the manner of a wife. And no, as a wife, did my part, did no wrong towards my husband for there to be peace and a new life for me that God would build. 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 So in my honest opinion, this is a nice lady from the African-American community, a lady that just really wants to have a husband. I mean, a lady that I think that is a really nice lady. And she was doing all kind of stuff for this guy. And then when she was going live on TikTok, well, this started happening. Hey everyone, good morning. So I can't go live on this account because I was on live yesterday and from fake accounts or whatever, certain individuals, I'll say that have gotten my live access on this account taken. So I see y'all's comments. I see so many questions and I, and stuff like that, but there's so many of y'all I can't answer individually. I need to be able to go live so that I can address to you what happened, how my money got taken, all the different things that they're doing to me and haven't done and the whole description of Samson. Samson is being allowed because he's blocked me on everything on social media to tell his version of things and to and Lola as well. But they're trying to silence me so that I can't tell you the truth about what happened and what's going on and what they did to me. So I need you guys to follow my other page. I've been requesting this since yesterday so that I can open up to y'all and address all your questions and discuss what's happening and what's going on. And how did I get here and get in this and all all of this, y'all, it, it's going to sound crazy. It's going to sound like some Lifetime movie mess and whatever else. And I don't even understand all of it. And I'm still piecing some of this stuff together. Together. And it's really sad. It's crazy. It's humiliating. It's, you know, a, a lot of things or whatever, right? But I need y'all to, to stay with me. Just stay with me here because the, sometimes the truth, it can look however it can look. But if it's the truth, it's the truth. And I'm willing to put myself out here to take the ridicule, the ridicule, right? To take the whatever I have to take as long as the truth gets out there. I'm not going to be silenced. I'm going to keep telling my truth, no matter how it looks and no matter how, you know, questioning it, it is by individuals or whatever. I'm going to keep saying the truth because the truth is what it is. It's the truth. 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 Yeah, they started reporting her videos on TikTok. So let's get to this lady, Lola. OK, this lady, Lola, also known as Zadiat Damiola Cole. That is what her name is. Now, according to her, she said this. TikTok, please help me find this woman, find her social media. Her name is Oli Wadamiola. She goes by Lola. She attends Winners International Church in Houston and is part of the youth groups. She helped plan with my husband to rob me of my life savings over $50,000 and open the bank account to help him transfer the money. So again, a few questions that I have. Honey, if you knew the guy was stealing from you, why would you let him come back into your house, go back into your house in the same safe to let him steal from you again it just doesn't seem smart if i know someone has stolen from me i'm not gonna let them back in my house but let's say fair enough you made a mistake but also look at so many of these sisters going through these particular scams look at this miss prissy says the same thing happened to me i lost a lot it was more than fifty thousand dollars it has been eight years i alerted uscis he's still working illegally i believe with the help of his african friends here in the u.s he was nigerian this other lady goes, I am from Nigeria, married to one for 10 wasted years. Same thing happened to me. They use desperate conditions or situations to manipulate. Now look at what this person says here, 57 Jenny. Why are women marrying these people overseas for? There's enough men right here that you can find that you can marry and do you wrong. Why do you gotta go overseas? You learn from Angela and Michael, which is very interesting because, hey, isn't that the same thing that they say? Listen to this. I was engaged to a Ghanaian back in the 1990s. Be careful, I got rid of that one, found letters to a female, okay? Tamika 26 says, I'm married to one, he is so evil, okay? Now JJ, I was married to one for nine months. When he found out that I had no money, he divorced me. This happened to me last year, he's from Nigeria and I was married six years and after he got here, he ran, ran. This white lady goes, wow, I'm so sorry this happened. Now I worry I have a Jamaican coming at the end of the month. We are supposed to get married. The lady below her says, run! 
run. 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 So I just really want to talk about these ladies who go around saying how much they're really worth. And again, that's how a person feels about themselves. I don't discount the fact that this lady is a very nice woman. This lady is a very beautiful woman. She's a woman that is kind and would do anything for anyone. However, what your perception is of yourself has to be duplicated or reciprocated in the market. Because when you're not what you're asking for, or you can't get what you're asking for, you end up taking care of men. And the last thing that women should ever do is take care of men. Okay. That you shouldn't have to do that. And again, you have to be the right kind of woman to attract the kind of men that you want. Otherwise you end up with guys like this who use you and take advantage of you. Unfortunately, it happens to a lot of women, not just black women in America, but it happens to women all around the world. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe the bell. We're out.